first presenter is Sun Hee Kim coming to, from us, uh, coming to us from the Design Collective. And she's going to talk today about some really awesome tools. Thank you, Sun Hee. How are you today? I am doing great. And let me get this thing ready and go. Awesome. I see it. It looks great. You okay. want to tell everybody a little bit about yourself and where you're calling from today? Yes. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Honey Kim. I'm a director of sustainability here at Design Collective. Design Collective is an interdisciplinary design, um, design firm, um, architecture, interiors, urban planning, landscape, graphic design. Um, the physical, lo lo um, physical office location is in the Baltimore and the Chicago. And right now I am in my Baltimore office. So let's go. Um, I have a lot to cover, but at any point, if it's getting too long, then just cut me off. Um, so today, the, uh, the topic that I'm talking about is my favorite. It's a carbon teaser, choose your own carbon adventure. Um, so we're gonna exclusively talking about carbon. And okay, just click. So um, why AEC industry should pay attention to carbon? Because we touch too much in the process of carbon emitting um, the segment. So that is why it is really important for us to talk about it. And why now? Um, I think everyone is aware of the, the concept of the uh, time value of carbon. The response is always delayed. And right now is really, really important time that we reduce our um, um, the carbon emission. And a lot has to do with the, actually building the physical building associated with the carbon emission. So that's why we are, um, our um, enhanced attention goes to the invited carbon section of it. So the stage of carbon, when we talk about carbon, it encompasses the entire the gamut of all phase and processes involving the carbon emission. So you can kind of see the production phase, uh, construction phase, maintenance and the usage phase, end of life, and the recycle. And these are considered the, the uh, module. And out of this A1 through D module, only B6 and B7, these two segments are operational. Historically, um, the AE industry and the entire world has been really, really focused on the energy efficient building. And those are related to the operational carbon without considering the entire um, scope that is involved in AEC industry. So now it's really, really important that we kind of start to finish um, on the, the carbon emission related to the building industry. So tools that we are gonna talk about um, as a teaser, so these three are mainly um, involved in geometry. So the Telecad and the Cove tool and Total Carbon Insight Tech Review is the three main items that I'd like to talk about, touch on today, um, related to the geometry. So Telecad is developed by Building Transparency, CTNG Lab, and Perkins Will, and it has a high, um, it has a very similar um, the method and way of approaching carbon as a Tally. And this is a free Revit um, plugin. And the link that I provided in the mural, you can go and then actually download the um, Tally, um, Tallycat plugin. And the actual meat of the database is it utilizes EC3 um, database to calculate the invited carbon and the uh, um, carbon reduction opportunities. Cool tool invited carbon is um, the new feature that is rolled out uh, early this year. Um, it is developed by Coop Tool, and it is subscription-based, so Coop Tool user can access it. And it uses it also uses the EC3 database to calculate by the carbon, and their focus is A1 through A3 stages. Um, and they have a plan to um, include and enlarge its or its scoping. Total Carbon Insight Tech Review, um, I wasn't I didn't think this would be ready for uh, for today, but it just released as a um, the beta for the public in two or three weeks ago, uh, maybe a little longer than that. Um, but it is developed by Autodesk, 
and it is Revit plugin, including your um, included in your Revit um, subscription. And it uses the EG3 and Autodesk custom value to calculate the embodied carbon. And currently available scope is only for the exterior OPEX assembly. If you have time, then I'll go over the care tool and kaleidoscope. Those two are the web-based um, web um, calculator or assembly assessment tool that um, is um, developed by um, various architecture firms. Um, Paya developed the kaleidoscope and generously open access to anybody. Um, and care tool is developed by the Siegel strain um, strain architect, Goody Clancy, and architecture 2030. So. No, uh, so the going through the workflow, the telecad workflow is starting from the geometry prepared by Revit, and it is a detailed model, and then using the add-in, the telecad, and it is a connection tool that the model to the EC3 website, and data mapping happens in the EC3, um, and it is the um, all the collected EPD information on the EC3 website that is going to be assigned to the actual material. So the material takeoff happens using the um, the Revit model, and the actual database coming from um, is mapped through the EC3, and the result can be displayed either um, EC3 platform as well as back in the Revit, and from here. This is kind of the important feature that um, using the Revit, Revit library function, they can actually connect between those two platforms that whatever is mapped in EC3 can be developed into the Revit library as a family, and then it can be reused into your new uh, Revit model that you're gonna build. So that is the same idea as a tally that has offered. So EC3 website, you once you create the connection, then EC3 website, you kind of start from the inputting all the model information, location information, um, the scope that you want to address in here. And then it'll show all the material based on the Revit family structure. And from there, you can use the EC3 tool to assign any of the material. Um, and from their output, you can kind of see individual. So this is this is a view from the um, the Revit, and these are the um, the chart and the report that is available on the um, EC3 website. Um, and then this is a Revit uh, library input. So under the telecat, there is a function called the Revit library. This is a function that connects either dumping down to the EC3, as well as from EC3, bringing back to the uh, Revit library. The code flow workflow is um, a little different. So it starts from creating the project on the code tool website. And from there, you have two options. One uh, is a geometry is prepared by a Revit detail model, and it links to the code tool um, website through the Code Tool plugin, or you can start building your um, building using the drawing tool. And in the drawing tool, so either you upload the geometry using Revit or building from the scratch in the drawing tool, you have to use Assembly Builder to assign certain specifics on your exterior wall. And then from there, you can use the um, directly go to the Embodied Carbon tab. And there you can start assigning the, um, the invited carbon, the material uh, specifics. And the result can be viewed in the code tool platform only. And iteration only happens within that platform. There's no going back to the uh, Revit unless you make the Revit model change. And then starting from here, that re-uploading your model to the code tool um, platform. So these are some of the views that you know you start putting the um, putting the project together using the geometry, and from there you go to the um, the tab at the very bottom that is a carbon um, uh, invited carbon, and from there it it uh, you can assign the structure system, substructure system, exterior, and the interior, and it also uses the EPD library that is based on the EC3. Um, and from there, you can actually pick and choose uh, the, um, the establish the baseline and the opportunity that could go low in the invited carbon. 
And then the third is total carbon instead. I don't know water. that, unfortunately, we have time for the third, sadly. Um, I okay. know that our next presenters are going to show a little bit more information about Insight and Cove tools. Um, but if, we would definitely love to have you back as well. The show is, it looks like you have so much information to share. Um, okay. I've also went ahead and shared um, the, the, all of those tools and their links um, right there in under your section there. So those of you guys who are joining us, since I've given my little mural presentation there, you can see under Sunhee's area, we have TallyCat and Insight Care Tools and the Kaleidoscope. So check those out. If there's any others that you'd like me to add, Sunhee, please let me know um, so that people can get to those relatively easy.